Don't, no, don't, no, don't do that. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hey, what the? No. Welcome to GT Not Live, where we're not live right now, but you know what? It's okay because I'm rolling deep with my Golden Bunny crew. I've got all three of them behind me. Uh, after a recent realization in one of our past videos that I have subconsciously surrounded myself with golden murder bunnies, uh, I've just decided to embrace that. And so, thank you for joining me, Gigachu, here today on, uh, you know, on a, a, a FNAF-themed episode. Peepa 2, Peepa Chew original version, original flavor Peepa Chew, thank you for joining us. Um, we're rolling deep, my friends, because today we're diving into the world of FNAF fan games yet again. Uh, but this time is uh, another interesting twist in the formula, right? So uh, last time we played uh, Survival at Tubby Land or Keep Alive at Tubby... I don't know. It was at Tubby Land. What, do you, what was it? It was Tubby Land Act 1. Tubby Land Act... Obviously. Do not die at Tubby Land. That was it. All of these games, do not die at Restaurant X. Uh, and the, the funny thing about that one was that it was a remake of a fan game that had been done like six years prior, right? So I made the comment in the intro of that one. It's like, oh, look at how far this industry has come and look at how far FNAF fan games have come that the fan games themselves are getting remade in much the similar way as the games themselves get remade and stuff like that. Well, today is yet another odd branch on this twisted little tree because the game we're playing today is inspired by the canceled fan game of a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game spinoff. So, you know, just branches upon branches upon branches, all rooted back in the poisonous tree that is Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, so the game that uh, Matt has selected for us today is Welcome to Sparky's? Correct. Welcome to Sparky's, which itself is inspired by the canceled fan game one Night at Sparky's? The Shift at Sparky's. Ah, The Shift at Sparky's. Don't Die at Sparky's. That's what, just name them all. Don't Die at Restaurant. Uh, it'll be the Don't Die at series. It'll be great. Um, so apparently this just came out in May. Matt says it looks beautiful, which as we all know, as we all know, is the sign of death for any game. I, I think I, I've told you this. Yeah, you I, hate when games are pretty. It, it's not that I know. No, you hate art and you hate things that are beautiful. <laughs> You've said it on camera before. I hate beauty and I will come into the room and smash it with my boots. No, Matt, 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 it's not that I hate things that are beautiful. It's that a lot of times when Jason and you have presented me with games and I haven't gotten to look at them and you describe the game as beautiful or wow, the graphics are great. See, games games are meant to be played, Matt. They're they're meant to be experienced. To you, to you, to uh, to, yeah, to make quality content online. To be reacted to in some way. Like, oh wow, that's pretty. Mm, all right, yeah. Like, do you see people really losing their minds in art galleries? Like, whoa, the ones that I go to. What art galleries do you go to, Matt? You know, the secret ones where people, <laughs> where people secret freak ones out. Where people freak out. You know, people go up to the Mona Lisa and they're like, yeah, that's nice. You I don't see it. That's true. I think people do freak out at the Mona Lisa. It's, I, I've seen the Mona Lisa. It's not worth it. No, I agree. It's, but I, people freak out. I saw, like, Starry Night and, and there were a bunch of people, like, crying. And I was yeah. like, this is a tiny, tiny painting. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, the a lot of those big paintings, like the, the super well-known ones, yeah. You know, they got a lot of hype. They're kind of like the supreme of the painting world, right? Got a lot of hype behind them. I think there are much, and I'm not knocking the creators, except I am knocking uh, Van Gogh, because Van Gogh is a big hack. Um, but I'm not knocking a lot of these other guys. Uh, they have. I think a lot of their works are great. 
but I think a lot of their works are the ones that are underappreciated. Uh, Pablo Picasso is amazing as an artist. Just if, if you want a sense of like how artwork, how, how to succeed in the art world, I think he's really fascinating because he tried a lot of different stuff and he's just so talented in all of them, but he finally found the thing that like hooked with people. Interesting how, how to you Van Gogh is a hack, but Picasso is the goat. Oh, but Picasso's great. Well, because Picasso famously a horrible person. Oh, is he? Oh, absolutely. Oh, no, really? Famously misogynistic. Oh, famously that sucks. Racist. Damn it. But why'd you have to go and ruin it? Damn I'm it. I'm looking out for Dude, you. Hashtag you cancel Picasso. Say, See? Hashtag cancel Picasso. Damn it. No, his, the Picasso Museum was great, and I was so impressed with his body of art. Because I only knew, like, again, I only knew the big pieces, and so I learned, like, here's the rich history of like what he's done he was super t regardless he was super talented no the reason i think van gogh's a hack is you go to van gogh's museum because i've been fortunate enough to go there as well and his entire backstory is he he was just riding the coattails of his friends like if you actually read the descriptions and stuff like he had like very little artistic sensibility he was just like trying to at least again as i understood it from his museum but like he was trying to partner up with like his more popular, cooler friends and trying to kind of riff and steal their art styles in a lot of ways. And it was just very clearly that he was like a clout chaser. Like he was, he was the old school art world version of a clout chaser uh -huh. in, in like the worst way possible. And so when like uh, Sunflowers and Starry Night took off, he was like, yeah, I found my thing finally. It's like, but he, was, but he didn't have a really solid like core skill in art. He, he was he was always this kind of like wannabe it's really so, interesting so he's a fan artist he's making fan art no that's that is not that's what, what I'm, you're saying that is not what it i'm sounds saying like that's what you're saying that's why would i say no because he because fan artists are good artists in their own right the thing about van gogh was that he did not have like solid chops like you look like you said you look at this game and like it's great and we play a lot of fan games here and a lot of them are great or they're honing their skills van gogh had no interest in it he just wanted to be famous like but he <laughs> okay are we oh man we're we're getting it okay okay all right but i thought fango never really achieved proper fame in his lifetime he got famous way after he died <laughs> no sure okay the doctor well, who episode hold up like you know hold up all like right sobbing. hold up van gogh and then they bring him to the future and they're like this is like what you really got Van Gogh, Amsterdam. it's the Amsterdam, the van gogh museum in amsterdam yeah that's the one i went to and i was so disappointed in him and i'm I, I i'm like how is this guy so <sighs> okay let me here table this discussion the thing is going to the van gogh museum and we were at vidcon amsterdam we went to the van gogh museum and i was both steph and i walked out of it with the same feeling of like this yes what however tragically his story ends and yeah, maybe he got recognized after the fact or whatever, but, like... Oh, he was uh, a creep. He did cut his ear off to give to a stranger. I, I, you know, but anyway. He was... He was a, I believe, I believe, and maybe it's a gross oversimplification, and, you know, like I said, Picasso, I didn't know what his backstory was, but I was impressed with his artwork based on the stuff that I saw in his museum and, and his level of talent as an artist, all things removed. Van Gogh... Same thing, you know, I, I had the exact opposite feeling where I'm like, this guy did not have talent, was very clearly going into art for the wrong reasons because he thought it would make him rich and famous and was trying to kind of ride the coattails and kind of riff on the styles of his, his like, friends and more popular counterparts in order to kind of, like, trend ride, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Forgive me. Maybe this was all, you know, I... <laughs> thank, thank you to Art History. Let's play Sparky. Do you want to play a video? Can, can we play a video game? <laughs> Matt just spin. <laughs> Thanks. I will follow this up at some point. Um, maybe during the next meme review, if you guys do artwork in the style of Van Gogh or Picasso, it'll give us a chance to talk about this again. I'll look it up. I'm gonna double check with Steph. To re re it's been a couple years, obviously, since we've been there. Uh, so some of my impressions might have gotten blurry, but I do know that both of us had that same reaction. All right, let's go, friends. Sparkies, it's a game. It's 
probably scary. I hear it's beautiful, like a Van Gogh painting, but in the best way possible, not like a cheesy Van Gogh painting. Let's go! New game. Also, to be fair, I do have strong reactions to artwork. I've my had. Name is Kane Wilson. Oh, jeez. I'm 19 years old, and I hadn't been in my hometown for a year, so I lost my job as a pizza delivery boy. Ooh. School was finally over, so it was time to enjoy my vacation. Oh, cool. And, of course, I, you know, needed some cash to enjoy my vacation. So I decided to resort to the newspaper ads. Cool. Since I was too lazy to go looking around town or searching online for one. LinkedIn is not that hard, but... I did a good five minutes of searching until I came across a rather interesting one. Rather? It was a job from one of my favorite childhood places. Sparky and Friends Theater Show. Ooh. I mean, I was surprised that this place even still existed. This is great voice acting. Sparky's was the best place our mother would take us on our father's rest day, or me and my little brother just behaved long enough to get a special treat. Unfortunately, the job was for a security guard during the night, huh. which is not really my type of position that I wanted, but I, I just couldn't turn down Sparky. Things went on and on like that. Can't until deny Sparky. Came. August 8th, if I remember correctly. Um, it was my first day on the job, and, okay. you know, I had a little bit of cash left, so it was great to finally start getting an income again. It seems to imply that he survives. I Cause he's didn't understand what I was exactly getting myself into. Now oh, there you go, Sparky and Friends Theater Show. It all began one night. You can't turn down Sparky. Cannot. Cannot. Oh, man! Solid understanding of its own timeline! Clap and a half to you. August 8th. 2014. Good evening, Mr. Security Guard, and welcome to Sparky's. My name is John. I'm the head of the establishment. Just uh, shut up, Liam. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Also, I heard that you got a promotion as a security guard for John, John Farms Liam. Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, not really my ideal position, but hey, at least it's Sparky's. Hey. All right, but uh, hey, I'm on vacation, so I need you to do something for me. The staff told me that the mouse animatronic uh, whiskers had a issue performing to the stage this day. Whiskers. He wasn't moving correctly as he was programmed to do so. The scary part is that some people reported that they heard some kind of like animal-like mm -hmm. noises whiskers. coming from his voice box. Mouse squeaking noises to be specific. Okay. Wait, for real? Yeah, I, I wouldn't worry too much uh, <laughs> since they're programmed to mimic noises and stuff. Makes sense. Uh, anyways, today you're gonna repair whiskers. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a box that contains a bunch of wirings that will allow you to connect whiskers to the computer. Then I'll start troubleshoot and find what's the problem and fix it. Great. All right. Fix whiskers. Step one. Sparky sister location. Night one! This looks great. You're okay. It looks great. The question is, how does it play? How does it play? I guess we'll find out. We're going to find out. Okay. It's very, very barren and sad down here. Is this the ground floor. Grab the key located in the security office before going to the first floor. Do you think this is the open? Like, is this where the rest, where you get into the restaurant, or is this the basement? Because if this is, because if this is the opening of your restaurant, you're like, ah, this, this isn't all that feel good of a place. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. Matt, do you play many video games? Um, I play the ones that have animals that you can, like, befriend. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I see. If not not the ones that are trying to actively kill you? Yeah. Uh, what fun's that? Uh -huh. Although, surely someone has explored the Animal Crossing animals as animatronics. Oh, I'm uh, surely. There must be. I'm actually surprised. There must be a Five Nights at Freddy's game that Five is. Five Nights at Tom Nooks. Yeah, Five, Five Nights at Tom Nooks or, yeah, right? Five Nights at Villagers, something like that. Be my objectives. Find the key before going to the first floor. E to interact. E, E, E. There we go. Whoa, let me throw that door open. Yeah! Very strong. Okay, what do we got? We got a bunch of security. Wow, a lot of security cameras. Okay, throw this door open. No, I cannot. Okay. Ooh, LP printers. My favorite, my favorite copyright neutral brand printer. Fantastic. Fire escape plan. What else we got? Uh, a bunch of names. I can't really zoom in. Meetings. Meeting with someone. Check the parking barrier. Okay. This might just be filler. Watch. 
third copy? I don't know. Oh, we got our missing, well, our wanted posters. Oh, these are the guys that are going to take me. This guy on the left looks really familiar. Is that Tyrion Lannister? Is that a Game of Thrones thing? Yeah, that's a... Or Tywin, not Tyrion. And obviously not Tyrion. Ty Tywin? I don't know. That This poster on the left looks like a very familiar face to me. It's my Uncle Bob. Is it your Uncle Bob? Yeah. Really? Wow, he funny always, that he would he end loved, up as a... He loved <laughs> animatronic pizzerias. <laughs> so much that he wanted to be included in a fan game for him. I understand. All right, so here's our security. Ooh. Ah, oh, delicious donuts. Yes, please. This security guard has the right idea, man. The, the vanilla frosted with a little dab, little dab, little drizzle of the chocolate. It's a winner. Can I guide you? I have, I have fears. Why do you have fears? There's a lot of space to explore. Okay. So I should, so I should actually focus in, huh? Well, if you want to do things in the video. You know, that, ooh, look, each, each donut comes individually wrapped. I'm just throwing out, I'm very impressed with this world's donuts. There's individual stacked donuts. Okay. Yeah, bring, bring me around. There's, if there's a lot to explore, then I might get lost in here. Yeah, to go back to the desk. Okay, great. Far left on the desk. Far left on the desk. Over see here. A key. Oh, jeez. Great. Oh, okay, so that's the level of detail I'm looking for. Okay. Here we go. Ah, yes. The very obviously placed. It's very dark. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Use. My objective updated. Nice. So, so okay, so animatron, right? Five Nights at Tom Nooks. That's right. gotta exist. What's the, what's the shop called? What, the, um. I, I should know this. I was gonna the say. The clothing shop? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. It's, uh, you yeah, know. Got it. Now grab the box. It's located <laughs> got in the storage room. I, then it find the I trust your game area. It should be around the arcade. Find the box. Ooh, here we go. Right. Ooh, ooh, look at how cool. This is a great design. What do we got? We got the heart catch. A little, little mini game there. Can I play it? No. Oh, I want to get back there. I want to play heart catch. You got the claw. What else we got? We've got, man, brightness. It's just, it's just very dark. I think you have a flashlight. Perhaps, eh? What? Get out of here! Get out of here! I guess I should always check that. But to be fair, they were doing a good job of explaining things, and I at no point did I pick up my flashlight. Ooh, look at that guy. Is Doesn't that just sound look welcoming right there? Look at him! Welcome to our friendly... Oh, here we go. Follow the rules. Don't poop on the floor. Classic. Classic don't poop on the floor. I'm glad that this poster is making sure that everyone's aware of the basics. Don't touch the animatronics. So, ooh, subscribe! Subscribe to Cory X Genshin. <laughs> it's great advice. Again, taking care of the essentials. Step one, don't poop on the floor. Step two, subscribe to Cory X Genshin. Which, hey, I think that is excellent advice. Do not bring food on the playground. No running in the halls. Detention, <laughs> detention for you, I mean. Uh, no stealing drawings. Do not climb yourself up to the stage. Do not climb yourself up to the stage. Don't you dare do it. Play. Oh God, man, I did all that work looking, looking into the distance and here it is this whole time. Well, anyway, just another reminder to subscribe to Cory X Kenshin. Let's eat, we got our pig and we've got cheese. Whiskers are mouse, okay. Oh wow, they really, they really want that poster ever. You really gotta know all this stuff, all right. Rules are important. It is, it, it, and they're meant to be followed. Oh, I want to play the claw game so bad. Are you Ollie, good at claw games? It, it's impossible to be good at claw games. I don't know. They, there's no way. Dinner. Are you familiar with the SpongeBob Claw episode? N no, no. Oh wait, where he's really good with the he claw. Is very good yes, with that's the right. Claw. Yes, uh huh. You have to be the claw. Famously. Right. Yes. So uh, with claw games. No, but I, that's because they can adjust the tension of them. They can, I believe they can adjust the tension of the claw. Yeah. So that way it can be very weak when you're trying to pick things up, right? So it can be artificially bad. No, Ollie is upset. They really want to make sure that you're microtransacting with these claws, gotta say. They, 
They're like, hey, we know that this brings in the money, so we're going to make sure that this thing is everywhere. Um, silver skis. No, so Ali uh, loves claw games. Um, when we go to Denny's uh, or any or like uh, the, the trampoline park or anything, both of them have the claw games, and he is always like, I want to play the claw game um, constantly. And it's one of those things where... I'll let him play the ones at the, the trampoline park because uh, they have the ones where you can't lose, which is cool. And so, you know, he's able to play multiple times and then eventually he gets like a little candy or a little ball or whatever. And, you know, he feels accomplished. He got to play a little bit. It's really fun. Uh, he gets to get better at it and stuff like that. So archive. Um, nothing back here. But yeah, so it's one of those things that, oh, wait, there we go. I'm glad I I'm glad I highlighted this. Okay. Game game design pro tip to uh creator of this game. Uh the one thing I would say is you know, good world so far, great voice acting. It does look beautiful, but having something to telegraph that this is the object I'm looking for. Uh, as opposed to all the other generic brown copy-pasted boxes to fill the shelves, uh, that would be useful. Um, I was about to leave, because I'm like, oh, there's nothing that's really standing out or interesting here. Uh, so just, I'm glad that I walked up to it and just randomly pressed E just to see. But, like, what, what differentiates this box from this box, right? In fact, this box might be more interesting because it's open. So just a, just a pro tip there, if you're ever thinking about like designing a game, having a visual clue of some point, some part, outside of this was the thing at the end of the hallway uh, would be really helpful. So, okay, now I got to repair whiskers, right? Uh, which means find the door for the kids area. Okay, find the door for the kids area. Wasn't there a door? This is... This is just a very sterile, very sterile kids uh, entertainment area because like everything is so just like stark and uh, there's, there's not a whole lot that's really zhuzhing up the places like this is a party center. Just a lot of games. It feels very utilitarian. You mean the solid shiny floor doesn't give you like welcoming embrace? <laughs> it gives me like welcome to corporate hack. <laughs> Here's our lunch room with very basic furniture. Uh, okay, ooh, here we go. Now we're getting to something that feels a little bit more fun. Family fun for everyone. Oh, here we go. Cool. Okay, so now we're getting to the animatronic. This should be it. I go to the main area where the stage would be. There should be dining tables out there and probably a playground on the left side. Okay. Then find your office. And that's about it. Good night, man. And that's about it. Good night, man. Okay. This is not the door I was looking for, apparently. Oh, what's this? Snow cone? Oh, cold cola! Oh, <laughs> it's an odd place for it, but sure. I can, hey, you know what? I will not complain. I will get refills whenever and wherever they're available. So, yes, please. <laughs> I like, look at this. Welcome to your corporate misery. Your nine to five begins today. I feel like the way into this. Nope, okay, cool. There's a lot of doors all leading to that area that seems like the one I'm trying to get to. Let's check out the bathrooms. Is Whiskers in the bathroom? He's not. I know he's not. I'm just checking out the bathrooms. Whoa! I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Oh no! That's the real trick here. It's not the animatronics that are haunted. It's the security guard himself. That's actually a good twist. I kind of like that. You thought the animatronics were the ones that were haunted, but no. It was you the entire time. I see dead security guards. Oh, man. You, you know that M. Night Shyamalan is right in his new movie with that twist as we speak. Women's room? Anything here? No. Nope, just the floating box. Cool! <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's really funny. Electrical. feel like this, this room, because it has a label, is important. 
And because I was, you know, getting wires and things felt even more important. I guess I could keep going forward, but I want to make sure I check this door because it really feels like this is the place that I'm supposed to get in because there's that playroom. There's the play place. Like everything he just talked about is in there, but maybe not. Maybe we're just walking past it because that's... That's all the entrances that I can find. So onward through the hallways of this pizzeria. There we go. But uh, but yeah, so the claw games. And also uh, in Japan, the claw games are huge. Like just f whole floors dedicated to those claw games. And you can win everything from, you know, the traditional stuffed animals to like actually legitimately nice things. If you can win, that's always like, oh, are you kidding me? It was here the entire time. It's fine. Matt, you were going to say something. There were always those games where it was like, you could win a Wii. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I don't think anyone's ever won a Wii. Right? Let me know. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, what's the best prize? That you've won in a claw game. I have won multiple stuffed animals. Mm -hmm. I've won a fair bit of stuffed animals. Um, have I won much more? Oh, this is cool. This is great. Um, have I won much more than that, though? Let's see. So, okay, we got our friends. We got Panda. Sparky, maybe? Pig? What is this? A demo for for security breach? It looks very security breachy. Um, yeah, I think the most I've ever won is just, like, a good handful of stuffed animals. Uh, and I always felt like a... a I, to this day... Save the game before you play. Wait. Save the game before you play. Save only once. You don't want to fill up your last... Your save list, okay. Cool. Save. Okay, cool. Um, no, and to this day, I remember very distinctly the the three stuffed animals that I've won in Claw Games because even though they're not great, they're not great stuffed animals, but the process of winning them was so, you know, influential in my childhood or, like, they, they mean so much because you get them in such a non-traditional way and they're, like, hard fought. I still remember them. Do you have any, like, do you ever go to, like, the State Fair? I mean, I, yes, I love State Fair. Do you have fairs. any, like, State Fair prizes? Because that's where I got all of mine from. Cause oh, at, like, at like, Claw Games? That they were, like... No, like, the like the, like the water gun game. Oh, yeah, sure. Because um, those, you can win. Yeah. They just cost $10 to play. Oh, yeah, it, it, it co yeah it's ridiculous. Um, and there are definite ways that you can kind of stack the odds in your favor. Like, get three of your friends to do the water gun game with you, and so you get a better prize, but you're still guaranteed to win. Oh, yeah, all that stuff. It's such a racket. Uh, no, I, I won a good number of carnival game ones, too. Um, problem with that is the, those stuffed, the quality of those stuffed animals were always a lot less. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like when you hug them or whatever, they feel like they're more stuffed with paper yeah. or, like... You know, they're they're kind of crunchy as opposed to, like, a traditional stuffed animal. There was one time I won a goldfish. Yeah. And I insisted on bringing him on a ride with me. And and, and they let you? And they... See, how old... First off, how old were you? It's probably, like, eight or nine. Okay. Like, little. Okay. That's and that's fair. But, but the fact that the layers of adults that had to approve that decision let it go forward, that is concerning to me. The fact that parents yeah we're like yeah okay the fact that ride operator yeah was like yeah i see no problem with any it of this like some like 15 year old but still Anyways. still i that is not a, a 15 year old knows the consequences of life and death and animal cruelty and oh my gosh I, really i think the animal cruelty blame should be on the person who gave me a goldfish who like yeah. suggested that goldfish should be put in bags as prizes Goldfish? No, because I, I'm a suit. I, I don't know. I don't know the proper care and handling of goldfish, but I or as as like how long they're sitting in there, what's done with them. But like as long as they're being treated okay, they don't need like a whole lot of you know. They can transfer temporarily. It's like saying you know a person being in a car, living in a car for like a couple of days is bad. Well, but we choose to be in cars. They yeah, don't but choose the, to be in bags. But they did the, all as long as they're living in water. Are they? I mean, are they choosing any elements in their life? Plus, it might be a transfer to like a mansion for the goldfish. Mm -hmm. Like they're going to be transferred into like a cool tank. Something tells me the state fair goldfish aren't really, you know, headed headed to mansion. Are you told? Don't uh, uh, what? It's a whole. Th 
You're, you are so chaotic today. I'm trying to play a game and just move the conversation forward. You're like, let's get into debates about animal ethics and whether we can actually own an animal and whether Vincent Van Gogh is better than Picasso. Jeez. Wow, Matt is saucy today. I don't know what got in the mirror, Matt. Long story short, Steph and I rescued two turtles from Chinatown that were in a, in a bad way, in a bad place. Uh -huh. We brought them to our house, or to our very small apartment in New York, but we treated them like royalty because we expected them to, like, you know, die. We wanted to give them, like, the best, like, final two weeks of their life well, or whatever. I wanted my goldfish to experience the thrills of a poorly constructed carnivore. Well, there are certain things that uh, you can and can't do with animals. And the fact that there were no adults or teenagers who taught you that and so said it was okay, you know, that's just it's unfortunate. I'm sorry that you're taking it out on me after all these years. Oh, hey. Hey, we finally got to the game. Congratulations, we're actually playing the game now. We're troubleshooting. Oh, hello. Wait, what's the controls here? S. So S is for tips. <laughs> what? Hold up. That was W. Don't, no, don't, no, don't do that. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hey. What the? <laughs> No, 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 save the game before you play, save only once, you don't want to fill up your save list, okay, so I saved once, so, okay, hey, S for tips, here we go, controls, left, okay, I thought the press S for tips was actually in the game, uh, left mouse button to interact with objects, ASD, okay, so, ASD to look around, Press space to shine your light. This is only available to use when looking at the left. Remember that you can't look around while having this on. Press W. W. Okay, W is hide. S to get back. Hamlet. He comes from the... Okay, Hamlet was the pig that just slaughtered us. He comes from the left door. When he's there, shine your light on him to make him go away. Fuzz. Outside your window. If he shows up, give him an electrical shock by using the power box. Whiskers. A plushie of whiskers will appear in multiple different spots. Find and click on it to make it go away. The left monitor will show you its point of view. Best to prioritize them less. So they are less important. Okay. Sparky. He'll show up to the door behind you. If he does, deactivate the electricity using the breaker in... Okay, he'll show up behind you if he does deactivate the electricity in the breaker in front of you as soon as possible. He's very silent. Make sure you look behind you more frequently. Nico, he's at the left door. Hide under the table and get up as soon as she goes away. All right. I think I've got a better understanding of all that now. I think. So, shine the light over there. Hide. S to get back. Uh, breaker box at the window, and then, nope, no, I didn't want that. And then S is completely behind me. S is behind me, okay. Okay. All right, I got this, maybe. S is behind me. S is behind me. Oh, oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, what's this? Okay, what was this? I need to turn off the breaker. Oh, God! Shit! <laughs> Shoot, there were three, two things that happened at the same time. There was the breaker box, and then also the... These are good jump scares. They're really great models. I'll give them that. Really solid models. Mm. Breaker box in front of me was that one. So behind you is breaker box. Window... Okay, there's the breaker box right here. So this is the thing. Oh, oh that's great. Fantastic. Here's this. He's light. He's breaker box in front of him. That was not, that was not a whole lot of time. Gotta admit. And that's a plushie of Hamlet, I'm assuming. All right, and hide. There's another person that I hide from. Okay, there's that breaker box. Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? Sure he is. Oh, wait, there's, there's this thing. Click the plushie. Yes, okay. No one there? 
I hear something spooky going on. Oh my gosh, you are still there again. Oh my gosh, and... Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, damn it, damn it! Ah! ah! Okay, that, I need to wait longer. It's not just to flick him away. I need to actually wait. Okay, we're learning. We're growing. We're becoming more well-rounded individuals. We are evolving. All right. We... Woo! That's good. It feels like I'm working out. All right. Try this again. No one there. And back. I think... I think... The biggest thing, and Matt, I'll need you to let me know about if there are any sound cues that I should be looking for. The only one that I've heard is the the door opens when the pig is there. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. Listen for if he leaves. Looks like he's gone. Please let him be gone. Okay. That's the thing. I don't know when he's gone. That makes me really nervous. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. You are... Oh my god, damn it! I turned it off! I turned it off! I turned it off! Come on! I turned it off! No! Well, this is... This is... That one I actually double-clicked. I know that I screwed that up. That was my, that was my bad. That was, that was my B. Oh boy, oh boy, this is a good one. I'm so good at this game, this is great. He is so aggressive. And they then these jump scares are visceral. And I still haven't had to hide under the table yet. Okay, okay, he's there. Are you kidding me? It is so, okay. All right, all right, all right, game. All right, you want me to be real fast at this, so okay, it's go time. This is night one. There's only one night though, right? Yeah. Okay, thank, thank goodness. This is, this is only one night. So don't be judging me too harshly in the comments. There's only one of these things, so they made it hard, right? But seriously, I, I, gotta, I gotta get good, as they say. And really, it's just, just pushing that thing, just flipping that thing. And though he is quiet, you can hear him. I wish you could hear him leave is the problem. Okay, there he is, yes, confirmed. Gone? It looks like yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he left. Okay. There. Great. Nope. Here are the winds. Come on. Okay. All right. I'm. I. I, I don't need to look for him. I. I just won't look for him. I will not look for him. Or is it the fact that I click the other... Like, there is such a small window of time to make that happen. I'm like, oh, I have enough time to click this and hop over. I just won't look for him. If I hear him, I'll just... I'll just turn off the light. I don't need to confirm it. I like that they say he's the quietest of them. And yet, like, he has a pretty loud door sound. Okay. Focus. Game time. There he is. Okay. It sounds like an 80s serial killer movie. Okay, here's the wind. Oh. I did not know that he was there. Okay, he's gone. Wait, where? Oh, really? That's the view. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Okay. 
Okay, great. Hey, we're surviving a little bit, I say, as I immediately die. Woo! You gotta do this for a long time, too, huh? Great. I don't know which one I have to hide from. Who do I have to hide from? I think it's the same, the left door, that's not the pig. The left door, that's not, where is this? Where is he? Whew, that was a tough one. Oh, hello. Great. Left door, not pig. Nope, that's... That's not pig, right? Yeah, I... Oh, come on! I had to turn! I hit W, but I had to turn! You have to turn and then W! You turn and you W and you... We are so close. We are doing so well. And by so close, I mean we are like halfway. But I knew what I had to do! I just want a W. Sometimes you just want a W under. Sometimes you just gotta press a W and you hope that it carries you under the desk when the evil animatronic is there. All right, let's take this again. I mean, I'm excited to learn Mouse's jump scare. That's who, that's who I want to meet. I say, as he becomes my final jump scare as I'm about to win. Okay, here we go. Here it is, locked in the zone. Locked in the zone. Okay, great. Get out of here. Get. Great. All right, you are there. Woo! All right, here it is. This is it, this is go time. Oh my God, leave me alone, you jerk. No one wants you. You are a rejected animatronic. You are not Fun and family friendly. Uh, this guy is looking when he's in this position, he's here, yes. Okay, I'm starting to recognize the camera positions too for the mouse. There's no family fun for everyone with you around. Shock. Oh wait there, ooh. Ooh, that's a weird one. New position for him, that's exciting. That's very exciting. And turn. I'm getting a great. No! W, 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 Hide, hide, hide. Wait, it was the pig? Was that a pig? That was a pig? I thought that looked like the other one. Oh, come on! No! Ooh, okay. Thank you for. Y'all just got really intimate. Peepa Chu and I are. Uh, Giga Chu. Giga Chu. Thank you. <laughs> we go way back. We're exes from another timeline. That's weird. You know? Is it though? Are you judging me? Are you judging me? A little bit. Why? Um. Go tell that to the goldfish you murdered. <laughs> you sicko. Oh, so now you're guilting me. Right, right, he's riding the tilt. I, no, you're just doing that to yourself. You've been you've been carrying that burden along yeah, for a long time. It's very telltale heart. I like hear the goldfish like <laughs> blubbing. Yeah, blub. Oh, okay. This is a pig, I guess. Okay, very. I, I like that mechanic. The mechanic of like where you can tell kind of where in the room he is, based on based on the camera angle. That's kind of cool. There's the wind. Is that the pig? Yes. Again, oh, hey. I need to see the other one more frequently in order to understand what it looks like. Because I'm having a hard time telling that that's a pig. I gotta admit, a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. I think that's valid. I also am having a hard time. Right? Because they're both big. They're right? They're like... oh, okay. They're right. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, it's just. Burp. Pig? Yeah. Pig. So the, the pig has a, like a bow tie. The bow tie, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm kind of starting to see. The pig has a bow tie, and I, having only seen the other one once. Hello. Okay, no bow tie. Hide. I like that you get this camera angle to know. Okay, S is to escape from under there. That's window. Great. Hey, look, now we're getting somewhere, friends. This is fun. This is good. The, the I will say the, uh, the mechanics are very, okay. Mechanics are very solid. He scares me. He's the worst. Because he also takes a long time to deal with is the other problem. Everyone else is pretty immediate. But the fact that you have to kind of like wait around for him kind of sucks. Halfway. Wait, well, I saw him pop it. Although having the mouse there allows me to see if that door is open. So that's actually not a bad position for him to spawn in. It's really cool that the mouse is able to spawn in all these different locations. Can I get a halfway save? Like, can we just save it at the halfway mark? Like, hey, you did it. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, and there he is. I can't click him when it's so dark. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh, I did. Okay, wait, that's hide. Uh, hide, 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 hide. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Get out. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. That's the thing. As soon as you get out from under, you have to check this back wall. That is... No. Woo! Nice. Oh, now we're getting... Now, now it's getting tight. This is getting tough. This, I mean, as if... As if it hasn't been already. That's also a tough, like... Where's my little mouse man? There he is. Okay. It's also tough with... Left. Wait, that's the pig. Nice. Whew, good catch. I was getting ready to hide. Nope. That's back. Yeah, so. I'm no. Nope, I don't need to do that. Okay, come on. So what I'm noticing is that those two. That's hide. Those two tend to come together. And I think the reason I was making the mistakes before was because I would take care of the mouse first before taking care of the door, the electricity. And I think that's what was killing me before. Okay. Oh God. Come on, come on, we're so close. Come on. There. It's getting hard to see. There, there's, the bloom effect is everything's getting scary. It's getting, getting a little bit tough. Are we done? Are we done? Can we end the night? Can we end the night? Can we end the night? Please end the night. Where's our guy? Where's... There he is. Oh! Did we do it? Yes, 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 yes! That was tense. That was really hard at the end. I'm like, why isn't this over yet? Celebrate my victories! <laughs> what? Are we done? Is that it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and we're back to things as normal. Totally fine. No, 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 no. Perfectly normal. Uh, cool.
I'm very short, aren't I? Like, this, either I am very short, or this is a very tall series of shelves. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, all right. Hey, can I hang out with you? What, do I, what am I doing? What are we doing here? Am I answering the phone? I am not. Am I leaving through this? Oh, I'm probably leaving through the back exit door. That makes the most sense. Yeah, let's go through here. You know, that place where people kept trying to attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where the heck did Whiskers go? Oh, he's gone. There's all sorts of sounds happening. Congrats. Now leave the room and lock. Dude, I just... Whiskers just... just Hello? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, That's cool. The door is open. He probably went there. I should deactivate him before something happens to that thing. I'm gonna record this, just in case. No, you fool! You fool! Don't do that! No! Oh, hello. Oh man, some found footage. Cool. All right. Why are you doing this? This is this is dumb. This this is dumb. Listen to your friend who said, "Hey, just get out. Your shift is over." Here, I'm, I'm gonna leave. Can I leave? Can I just leave? I want to leave. Let me leave though. Wait. So he wants me to deactivate. How am I deactivating exactly? Actually supposed to be going somewhere? Hold up. He said deactivate. I need to deactivate something or other. Shoot. Where are we at? This is clearly not the way I'm allowed to go yet, which means I'm supposed to go through here, but the problem is it is very dark in here. Can I see it on one of the other programs? Nope. Nope. It's dark in every camera that we have. So, uh, oh, we're so close. We're so close to the end of this. We were doing so well. I can zoom in. That's cool. This room seems like it's closed off. So that's not it. What should I be hitting? He said, I need to deactivate something or other. So it doesn't get out. It doesn't attack. Is it here? No. No. Hmm. Deactivate the vending machine so it doesn't come alive. That's the animatronic game I want. Something about sentient vending machines. I feel like that's an untapped market, to be honest. Yeah, it seems like I have to go through here. It seems like the thing I have to do is here. Oh, damn it. We do have the flash. That's right. We do have the flashlight. Thanks. I forgot about that. It is super dark. Man. All the filters that are on this footage right now are pretty crazy. Okay. And all right, so here, there it is. <laughs> Getting through the door. Peak challenge. Wait, night two? Hide and seek. Oh, there's another night, man? No way. Here we go. Here it is. Woo, hello. I like that it took me only a minute to do that. 8-2014. Yes, I'm here. You know, could probably, add, oh, oh, it's still recording. Oh, wacky. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, weird. Nope, don't go up those stairs. You are not allowed there, apparently. You are allowed down here. Zah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, there! There it is. I was gonna say, I thought, Matt, there was only one night. There it is, to be continued. See you soon. So you get a preview. You're going into the basement. Uh, solid. Solid. Um, what you're playing now is a horror game. Yes. Um, 
solid across the board. I think it was one of those things where uh, gameplay, super cool, world building, really cool, voice acting, really solid. A couple things to kind of refine or smooth over, um, but really, really fun. This was, a, this was a good pick. I know it took us a while to get going, and I know it took us a while to, you know, for me to kind of get into the gameplay, but like, as far as that snaffy, like, get into the pattern, manage all the different mechanics and stuff, it was good. This was really solid. I like this one. I'm excited to see what else comes from Sparky and the gang. Um, so with that being said, guys, I think we're going to wrap this one here. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I need to go research Vincent Van Gogh versus Pablo Picasso, as well as uh, discuss with Matt animal rights ethics uh, and about whether one can truly own a goldfish and etc. So we're going to talk about that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!